guys, it is me, your host once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review um, is one that I really liked. I love um, this genre of movie. Um, what can I say? Let's just spit it out there. I'm talking about the 2013 rated R release of Green Inferno. Now, if you've seen this, you know how great this movie is. It's fun. It's amusing, it's entertaining, it's gory, it's tr like, whew, it's an awesome film. Uh, runs for an hour and 40 minutes. If you haven't heard of this one, this is the director's cut, and it is fantastic. It's a must-see for anybody that is into horror movies and needs to be on your shelf, because it's wonderful. So, But if you aren't familiar, let's get you connected. The mastermind behind Hostel franchise and Cabin Fever horror Icon Eli Roth serves up a feast of gut-wrenching terror in the gruesome fear fest of the Green Inferno. Determined to protect the Amazon rainforest, a group of student activists fly to Peru only to crash land deep in the jungle. Captured by a pack of bloodthirsty cannibals, the survivors suffer unspeakable acts of butchery at the hands of the very tribe they were trying to save. A nonstop barrage of carnage and chills, the Green Inferno is in unhinged at best. Super fun film, um, like I said, director co-written by Eli Roth. Of course, did Thanksgiving Hostel, he's Cabin Fever. He's, you know, his name. He's been around. He's done his thing. He's still doing it. Um, most people probably hated the, on this film a lot, especially when it first came out, saying as a Cannibal Holocaust ripoff. Um, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, and of course, I don't know how much facts are, are in this statement, but I did hear a lot of people say he was originally going to remake Cannibal Holocaust and for whatever reason ended up trying to make his own thing. There is a lot of similarities. I mean, they're in a jungle. There's cannibals. There's bad things that happen to these American white people. And it's awesome. The things that I loved about this film... Um, the brutality, um, just the storyline. Hey, you know what? You can go help people, but guess what? You probably shouldn't be there to begin with because that's not where you belong, you know? But I think the really cool thing about this film is they used real villagers that had never even seen a movie be made before um, in Peru. And it's just so, seriously so funny because I was reading a thing where they showed the villagers Cannibal Holocaust and said, hey, this is what we want to make. And they thought it was a comedy. So that cracked me up. That told me that these guys were going to have fun. And I, I believe they, you know, paid them well and took care of them and fed the tribe. And it's, it was actually filmed in the jungle of Peru. You know, so of course there's bugs, snakes. I've heard about all sorts of things going on during the production of this pretty while. Um, I think um, there's some funny, funny moments though that I just loved in this film that I think really kind of set it off. I'm just gonna give you my highlight one. It's when they decided to smoke a bunch of weed, you know, and trying to get high. And then they tried to blow it towards all the people and these people cooked the guy that had the weed bag in him and the villagers got high but then they got the munchies and wanted to eat another prisoner and that that stuff just really really cracked me up um one other thing to kudos to mr eli roth is this is one of the few cannibal movies that doesn't harm any animals in the making of it which is kudos to you so Seven out of ten. Fantastic film, The Green Inferno. I loved it. Check it out. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. Stick around.